Hello everyone, Mike Arnold here, co-founder of Path Trading Partners. Another pretty substantial sell-off in the Bitcoin series. Let's take a look and uh, some per potential aggressive and conservative, conservative entries. So, kept selling off. How do we come with our next levels down? So we had the reverse GAN box from the highs on the 20th back to the lows on the 17th, which gave us the level down to 1151, which you see we got this pause here. We also did one, it wasn't on the video last night, but we did get a pause candlestick and we could go from the highs on the 28th to the lows on the 1st and that gave us a pause, which also gave us a nice little cluster of this 1160 tying in with the 1151 level so that was reinforced that level then when that broke the next level down was 1091 we got all the way down to 1057 before a strong reversal now this is a nice railroad track pattern if we look at the daily chart you get a somewhat of a tail it's more uh, it's better to see we'll go over in, in the other ones you we get some tail here which looks like it could be a capitulation bottom it's still early then we watch for the 50 percent pullback we don't really want to see it get beyond the 62 and a half an aggressive entry would be to get to between these or just touching the 50 or between the lines and then a rotation back up that would be a very aggressive entry because if it breaks down again you'll want to get out it just means this is a temporary bottom the conservative entry is when it gets above the high that we drove. So we have the retracement going from this high to this low with this big green bar. When it's almost near that 50% low, then we want to turn up and then you want to wait till it gets above 1241 and it, it's best to wait for a close. And then you definitely want to move your stops if it gets the other side of the rotation zone. Okay, I'd be looking to move them at the 1320 level you know, if it bounces back up there, you move up a stop or take some partial profits, at least don't turn it into a losing position because it can easily go into the rotation zone again and rotate back down. The reason the conservative entry is waiting for it to get back into the rotation zone and above this spike high is because you see before eight can push the price lower. It's already hit the eight. This could theoretically push the price down and then it goes to new lows. Where would be the next new lows? Well, let's clean this chart up a bit since this reverse GAN box is removed. We can now just extend this down. Should these levels not hold? Let's switch over to the daily chart again and see where the next levels we'd be watching for. So we'd be watching for 966 and 875 and again, some kind of reversal pattern down at those levels. That's the next thing. And then the next level below that is 705. Switching over to Bitcoin Gold. So very similar pattern. We then came to the pausing bar here, which gave us next target of 115 here. Pausing there. Then it plummeted to the full target 106. And then rallied back up. A nice reversal pattern again. And this one already has pulled back to 50% and turning back up. So this would be the very aggressive entry. And again, the conservative entry would be on a close above 127. With definitely looking to move a stop on the other side. You do not want to hang on to these forever. You can really get burned if you do. We can also move this down. And that done. If this plummets, that starts plummeting again, if you did an aggressive entry, you just want to get out. And we're trying to teach this so people, when they see this in the future, you can watch for these. And if you get comfortable with them, then you can decide, hey, I might do an aggressive entry or I'm going to wait for a conservative entry. But you're still against the four hour rotation zone. Let's switch over to the daily and see how that looks. So you see this nice tail being left behind right now. We don't want this tail to fill back in. So if it plummets back down, then you don't have a reversal bottom. If we do head down again, what levels are we watching for? Let's see, we have a 96, 46, 93. So 93 to 96 would be the next area we'd be watching for a reversal pattern, then all the way down to 81. And if that broke, 62. Keep in mind, even if we do rally on all these Bitcoin series, we have the daily rotation zone against it. So you, again, you're gonna wanna keep moving up stops as it rallies up to prevent it from rallying back in the rotation zone and then turning back down and going to new lows without having you done anything. 
actually this should should extend that up there which actually breaks our little cluster so next level we'd be ta targeting is 93 and then really 81 a possible at 88 that was a, a misdraw on my my part finally over to bitcoin so we had these levels down here and i'll show you the other one we do this all the way down to uh 8284 pretty much got a dead closed on it dipped down below to 7690 then rallied back up we also talked about this on the podcast the other level which is already off here again to the pause here and let me lock that in and you see that gave us also this 8128 key level these levels are all done now but we can extend for in case this does not hold again for the next levels lower now we've already done the 50 percent retracement you see here Brief turning up, this is very neutral. This would be the super aggressive entry. The conservative would be above 91.89. Challenge with this one is the rotation zone is pretty close to the other side. So if this takes a while to move back up, the best thing would happen would be to pause for a bit, let the rotation zone keep declining. Then it gets a close above this 91.89 level and the 21 EMA is out of the way. That would be the best scenario for a, a conservative entry back into Bitcoin. What would you want to do with it then? Well, let's see. At this point, we have the rotation zone on a daily basis. The, the bottom of it coming in roughly with this cluster back at the 10,000 level. So that would definitely be a target to move up stops. The aggressive stop movement would come up around this 9550 level. Now, if this does not hold, this lows at 79.60. Look at this is really nice. Again, we have a cluster 74.31 to 75.21. That's going to be a key cluster. It looks like this 200-day uh, simple is going to just keep rising to really match up with this 79.60. So we won't really use that with, as a target. Then if that doesn't hold, 69.02. And on a next major level down would be the 75% retracement level from this huge move, which would take it to 5,047. Keep in mind, this can easily still rally back in the rotation zone on the daily, then turn lower. We don't know a bottom's in. You never know a bottom's in for sure until you start making higher swing lows and higher swing highs which is going to take some time so if you're taking an aggressive or conservative entry that's why you you take them you manage them you move up your stops or you take some profits off as it approaches the daily rotation zone especially as it enters it you lock something in so if it does turn back lower you're not then turning a a potential bottoming pattern that could have locked in some profits into a losing trade so that's what we have for you on the Bitcoin series today. Trade smart, trade well, keep trading the cryptos, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.